Rupert, thanks very much indeed. Things looking very unsettled for the bulk of the week. And that's the way it's starting off, too, with low pressures very much the dominant feature. The real whizzer is this one day down in the southeast, spreading a lot of cloud and rain up and across the country as we speak. Here you see it progressing through the early hours of the day, up and across the Channel Islands, and eventually into the western parts of Wales, up through the west country, now moving towards the Scottish border really quite rapidly. It's hanging around on the western side of the country, and it's producing a flood alert there down on the River Riggle down between Chetnol and Yetminster. It's not only been very wet, but it's also been very windy. This low pressure manically spinning away up there towards the northeastern corner of Scotland. And then as we move on through Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, you'll notice that we keep this run of strong, if not gale force, southwesterly winds, particularly in the northern and western parts of the British Isles. No real surprise when you see just how static the situation is. The low pressure gradually drifting away. Something of a change on Tuesday as a high pressure begins to move in. But then this low pressure keeps us in that southwesterly flow for the second half of the week. So some thoughts then for the week ahead. We start by taking a look at that low pressure moving its way just away towards the north. It is going to take a time to pull that rain up and across the border and into Scotland. So wet weather gradually spreading north, allowing showers to move in behind. The best of the brightness away towards the north and west and a mild afternoon for most folk. As we move on through Monday, that low pressure taking a time to move away. So wet weather across the northeastern quarter of Scotland. Showers down in the south and east and in between, somewhat drier and brighter conditions. And there'll be more of that sort of thing as we move on through Tuesday. And if you've got a lot of outdoor work, then make the most of this uh, weather window because I think Tuesday is probably the best day for the outdoor work. Dry and bright conditions for many parts of the country. But then Wednesday, well, really, it's all changed. As these fronts bring a lot of warm and moist air in, you'll notice the ice bar is very tightly packed as well. There could well be a problem with some flooding in the southwestern parts of Scotland and also in northern and western parts of Wales as well. Of course, we'll bring you more of that nearer the day. To the north of that particular wet region, well, heavy and blustery showers setting the pattern, in fact, for the second part of the week. Further south, somewhat drier and brighter conditions after perhaps quite a misty start to the day. And then Thursday, well, those fronts will take a time to move away. And then Friday, we're left with that run of vigorous southwesterly breezes. So we were going to get rid of that rain eventually from the south and east. But once we see Thursday and Friday through across northern and western areas particularly, a lot of heavy and blustery showers there, somewhat drier though, over in the east.